American novelist William Gaddis once said, Power doesn't corrupt people, people corrupt power. This can be very easily seen in today's politics. Today, I intend to persuade you, my audience, on how to prevent poli career politicians and how to prevent political corruption through term limits. Some of you may be wondering, what is a career politician? A career politician is a political figure who has little to no significant professional experience outside of the political arena and suggests that they also may have little to no life experience as well. Too often do the politicians up in Washington reap the benefits of being in power, but stay stagnant without, with not helping us move our country forward and progressing. For example, Joe Biden, John Dingell, John Conyers, and Orrin Hatch. In fact, the top 20 longest tenure Congress members have served for more than 40 plus years, 45 plus years, and I bet none of y'all can name a single one other than the ones that I just named off. Another thing is politicians these days spend more time on campaigning and raising funds for the next political campaign than they do spending time trying to help the, the American citizens who elected them and doing their duties. In 2020, over $8 billion was spent in congressional campaign funding. The other problem with no term limits is the original purpose. The founding, our founding fathers intended for, the, for a political position to be where a, an average everyday American citizen were to leave his or her, her home and they could be lawyers, doctors, farmers, just everyday people come and represent their community and people. But today, many politicians take advantage of it and having no term limits incentivizes corruption and it strays them from the path that they were elected for. While there are many solutions to preventing political corruption, one that sticks out the most are term limits. Now you may ask yourself, what can I do to help bring term limits to Congress when only Congress can set term limits on themselves. Here are two ways that you can help in the fight to push the envelope for term limits. Number one is to vote. It may be too good to be true, but all it takes is voting. Vote for the people and politicians who are in favor of term limits, such as Representative Jody Arrington and Don Bacon. These are, politicians are the only people who can set term limits on themselves. So vote for people who have like-mindedness goals and we can achieve that. Another is to get in touch and know your state legislators. Our state legislators here in Columbia are Representative Scott Sapicki and Senator Joey Hensley. Many state legislators are typically more grounded, more down to earth, and more likely to be persuaded by everyday citizens since they too live very ordinary lives unlike the politicians in Washington. Get to know them, let your voice be heard, and eventually we can make progress in this fight towards political corruption. While term limits won't solve all of our problems, and especially not anytime soon, it is definitely one step forward out of corruption.